Well, Anne Bonny is one of my personal favourites, although you're not allowed to have favourites. She again emigrated from Cork. Um, her father was a local lawyer, her mother was his maid, so they absconded first to London to get away from the family uh, ire at this particular union, and then after that they went to the colonies, where Anne became involved with a small-time local pirate called James Bonny. She soon jumped ship to a, a bigger and more established local pirate called Calico Jack. She travelled the seas with him and with another female pirate called Mary Reed, and they were really, really well respected by the men to the extent that when they were finally captured by the British Navy, Anne and Mary were the only ones drunk enough or not drunk enough to be able to fight. The rest of them were useless. Um, so she had some pretty choice words for her husband as they were all arrested. Everybody else on the ship was hanged, but Mary and Anne pleaded their bellies. They were pregnant at the time and were spared. Now, Mary died in prison, but we don't actually know what became of Anne, so there are a lot of great stories that have been written about that period in her life that nothing is known about. EPIC, the Irish Emigration Museum, is a brand new immersive museum which deals with the Irish emigration experience. Now that's not just the reasons for leaving, but also the huge and widespread influence that Irish emigrants have had all over the world in lots of different areas. As you can see, it's situated here in the vaults of the CHQ building in very atmospheric settings, and it has wonderful audiovisual and interactive aspects which set it apart from any other museum in Dublin.